All right, hello everyone, and you're watching another Wednesday Wellness here at Dr. Georgie Holistic Health and Healing, of course, in our Creator Model of Healthcare Facebook community. And we are thankful that you're spending time watching our videos. And you know, if ever you have any recommendations of the next topics that you would want Dr. George to discuss, please just let us know. You can type in your comments on the comment box below this video and let me just introduce myself my name is kai and we also have here ein of course we have pam and dr george and we are the team love god and here at dr george holistic health and healing our vision is to build a healthy vibrant and resilient nation of course our mission is to empower ourselves to the optimal health of our mind body and spirit through the creator model of healthcare five pillars of wellness so if you're wondering about what five pillars of wellness is just go ahead and browse through other posts or other videos we have here on our facebook group because we also had a video you know a live webinar about this topic and our values it's humility love and forgiveness so for tonight we will have another topic about food is medicine but this is about the surprising benefits of apple cider vinegar and raw honey so for sure you have heard you know a lot of things about these two wonderful you know um food that can actually help us improve our wellness so tonight um for today we will have still our prayer and then an icebreaker question so if you also want to share with us your answer about this icebreaker question just go ahead and type them in on um, type them below this video and of course dr george will share with us the benefits of apple cider vinegar or acv and the raw honey and then we'll ha he will also share with us some wellness tips and then you will proceed with question and answer so also about that if you do since this video is actually recorded still if you have questions just go ahead let us know you can put that on the comment box or you can send it to us directly by um through our facebook messenger or through our other social platforms that we have all right and let me just introduce of course dr george a. saramuga he is an osteopathic family physician a great ambassador for christ and also an active veteran all right so let me call on dr george for our prayer welcome folks thanks for being here with us again tonight we're honored and privileged to have you here and as is our custom is that we start in prayer so this is out of genesis 43 then their father israel if it must be, then do this. Put some of the best products of the land in your bags and take them down to the man as a gift. A little balm and a little honey. Some spices and myrrh, some pistachio nuts and almonds. Here's some pistachios. All these are beautiful. Container full of pistachio nuts. Mixed nuts that have some almonds in it. Powerful foods. Honey. The raw honey, which we're going to be talking about. Okay, so we always like to show this slide because, you know, humor is good in medicine. Laughter is wonderful in medicine. It helps the immune system, supports the immune system. And so I'm a grandpa, and every day I get to look more and more like this grandpa. And his grandson asks, what's the meaning of life? And it's getting right with the Lord, getting to know the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, the best is yet to come, ladies and gentlemen, right? Jesus Christ, the best is yet to come. So that's kind of our prayer and building up ourselves with a little humor in life. So we're going to go to Ayn, a talented teammate, and she's going to talk to us about the icebreaker. Hello, everyone. As you can see on your screens, our icebreaker question for the day is, do you have healthy boundaries? cite some examples mm -hmm. all right thank you for that Ayn. and well healthy boundaries definitely yes you know um to be specific of course with um actually with the area of um like alcohol for example you really have 
huge boundary on that area. <laughs> also because I am allergic with that. And praise <laughs> God, he made me allergic yeah. with alcohol. And aside from that, you know, after our topic, um, for this medicine topic about the HFCS, um, or high, high fructose corn syrup, after that, actually, I don't know when was the last time I had a milk tea, <laughs> to be honest. So, whenever I think of like sweet food, I always remember the HFCS. So, I now I have huge boundary in that as well. How about you guys? Well, you know, I try to have boundaries, both mind, body, spirit, you know, treating the whole, my whole person, if you will, as our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. And so kindness is a boundary that I expect myself to be kind always be kind and people to be kind to me and so remember our eyes or, or we blink our eyes that's our life on earth when we look at eternity and so make it a good blank so we shouldn't accept unkindness to ourselves nor should we of uh, we shouldn't be unkind to others so kindness is a boundary I, I set for myself a high standard for kindness and also a healthy lifestyle in terms of making sure that I live the creator model of and, you know, we're not perfect in it. I'm not perfect in it, but it's a discipline. So I love my water, getting the right foods, getting that routine exercise, sleep, and always starting a day off with the Lord. So, you know, that's the discipline. Those are some of the boundaries that I set for myself. How about you, Ayn? Well, like you guys, uh, one of the boundaries I've set for myself is taking social media detox every once in a <laughs> while. <laughs> That's it good. It also helps me focusing on work, for example. Yeah, because social media takes consumes your a lot of your time. It does. And then I I make also make sure to have exercise. Like you said, well, like what I've learned here, motion is a lotion. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. It is. Well, great examples, folks, of boundaries, healthy boundaries. And so if you have anything you want to share with us, just go ahead and type it and, you know, or questions and we'll certainly get back to you. So great icebreaker, I Thank you for that. So we're going to move into our active duty veteran salute. And. Praise and thanks our thank our military and people that have served because you are the light of the tip of the candle illuminating the way for the whole nation. If veterans can achieve awareness, transformation, understanding and peace, they can teach us how to make peace with ourselves and each other. So we never have to use violence to resolve conflicts again to lead with love. You know, not lead with the spear or with the rifle, but lead with love. The power of love is God. OK, our objectives, folks. And it's just kind of a revelation when you start your first objective with putting God first. Place God first in our lives and everything we do. And then when we go through the things that we want to accomplish, let's give God the glory. OK, so that's our first and our last. The Alpha and Omega, if you will. And our three objectives in the middle lead with love. We want to create that culture of kindness. That's one first. So then find the pure peace in the present moment. Talk to Jesus, our guiding light. Nurture that divine exchange. And then be, to, be empowered to live fully alive. Because the glory of God is living fully alive in mind, body, spirit. Through the creator model of healthcare, the five pillars of wellness. Okay, Our objectives. Okay, Next we go to our guiding principles. God is the great physician. God created man in his image, in the divine image. He created him, male and female. He created them out of Genesis 1, 27. Prayer is the best medicine. And when we know, don't know what to do, folks, that's our second guiding principle. Pray. All right. So go ahead on to that slide. Well, well, the biblical correlation is truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do. And he will do even greater works than these because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in me, in my name, I will do to glorify the Father and the Son. That's out of John 14. So we know we can do great things because God sent his Son. His Son has told us 
that in his name we will do even greater things. The third guiding principle, we're all responsible for our health and choices. The government isn't responsible for my health and choices. My spouse, my friends, I am. Me, myself, and I. That gets back to those healthy choices that we talked about in our icebreaker. Things that we can do to remind ourselves those boundaries, right? So out of 1 Corinthians 6, you must know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. The spirit you have received from God. You are not your own. You have been purchased at a price. So glorify God in your body. So when we think of that, then we'll make better decisions and better choices. And glorify God through our bodies. That's what he expects us to do. Okay, And then all life and healing comes from our God. He gave us a first breath. He'll give us our last and everyone in between. For I am the Lord who heals you out of Exodus 15. So let's get into our topic tonight. It's an exciting topic. You know, remember, medicine is not supposed to be complicated or messy. God has given us everything to be healthy. And so the surprising benefits of raw and unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother. And this is Bragg's. It's, it's one company, but it doesn't have to be this company. There's lots of other ones that make it. But it's cloudy. It's got the mother in it. It's got probiotics and prebiotics, yeast, good bacteria, probiotic, all good for our gut. Okay, And it's been there for over 5,000 years, this vinegar, fermented apples. And Hippocrates prescribed apple cider vinegar with honey for coughs and colds. And so does this doctor. This doctor believes in it. He takes this every day with raw honey, lemon, ginger, and it's powerful. It's a powerful toddy, if you will, for our body. It stimulates circulation, purifies the blood, detoxes the liver, wakes the liver up in the morning, wakes the brain up. It cleans our lymph nodes. It's a cleanse. It's a detox and approves our immune response. So beautiful, beautiful benefits. That bottle that you saw in that last picture was from Guatemala and the power of apple cider vinegar. It's fermented using yeast and the natural sugar from the apples. Because when you eat an apple, you can taste the sweetness and that's the natural sugars, which is healthy for you. And what does yeast do? It consumes the sugar to grow the healthy bacteria. Just like if there's too much sugar in our body, we get too much yeast, yeast infections, brain fog, lots of things. And we'll talk about a little bit more with too much yeast. And so we don't want to pasteurize this raw and unfiltered apple cider vinegar with a mother. We don't want to heat it up because that denatures. It kills the good meat, the nutrients and the enzymes that are responsible to help our guts. And the acidity, it's 5% acetic acid. It prevents unhealthy bacteria like E. coli from forming to cause bad infections. So the power of the raw and unfiltered apple cider vinegar Again, with the mother. The mother means just that cloudiness, that string of, of the yeast and the bacteria that all comes together to form the mother. It's murky and it's brown. looks like a cobweb, okay? Just shake it up, kind of get it out, get it permeated through the whole bottle and then pour your teaspoon or two. And this mother represents that, again, that good bacteria and the bits of the live yeast. And it's a probiotic for our gut and helps our immune system. Remember, our immune system is in our gut, 80% of our immune system. So it's powerful. And so what are some of the things it can help us with? Well, it's low in sugar. So if you're a diabetic or have issues with too much sugar in your diet, it's not gonna cause any issues. It's very low in sugar, three or four calories for a tablespoon, which is very low, and has a positive weight or effect on weight loss and blood sugar. So it doesn't affect your blood sugars. So it's good for diabetics. It's good for people that have weight problems. And you know what, folks? It's a natural disinfectant, both in our homes and our bodies. And we'll get into that here in slides coming up. So good stuff with the apple cider vinegar. You can use it as a conditioner for your hair. Take one tablespoon of the apple cider vinegar and a cup of water, pour on your hair after you shampoo, do that three times a day. It'll make it, it'll make it softer, more shiny, you know. And I thought maybe you might even help lessen the gray in my hair, but it, that didn't work. But you know what? It's okay. It's it's the silver fox, right? And so it's a great conditioner for our hair. Teeth whitener. 
you can use your finger and just put some of the apple cider vinegar on the finger and just rub it. Okay, do it for about a minute and then rinse your mouth good with water. Why? Because this is an acid. You don't want to not rinse because it can affect your enamel if you don't rinse it off. And so it's important that you dilute it always in water or if you're putting it on your teeth with your finger, then take a big glass of water, switch it around and rinse it off. Okay. And so I start with a, tell people to start with about a teaspoon of the apple cider vinegar in a large glass of water prior to meals and then work up to a tablespoon because it's good for reflux, G-E-R-D, gastroesophageal reflux, because most people have low acid in the stomach. And so when you suppress acid with Prilosec and the H2 blockers like Pepsid, Zantac, which are cancer causing, then, then you don't have enough acid to digest your food and you get bloating and belching and that's what causes the reflux. So this restores some of that pH. It restores some of the acid and some of the enzymes and the probiotics for a healthy gut. So very powerful before meals, a big a, a teaspoon and a big glass of water, maybe even with some lemon, okay? And so this next slide is a good slide because it brings in the leaky gut that we've talked about in the past. And so if our guts aren't healthy, then we get that leaky gut. And that's usually caused, can be caused by candida, which is yeast. And so this apple cider vinegar restores that healthy gut, kills the yeast, boosts the probiotics, and it balances the good bacteria, the bad bacteria. And it's a good candida cleanse. It removes the sugar from our diet and adds that apple cider vinegar when we put it into water, it helps promote good digestion. So, and it really does. Remember the leaky gut affects our brain with the brain fog. It can affect our skin with eczema and acne, sinus problems. It can, it can affect our adrenal glands, slow down the colon transport, cause constipation or diarrhea, affect the thyroid gland, autoimmune, our joints. And so this is healthy probiotics, healthy to heal the gut so we don't get that leaky gut and so we don't develop those autoimmune disorders. Food is medicine. Hippocrates taught us that, folks, okay? So it does. It regulates the pH. Remember, it's an acid, 5% acid, okay? And in the stomach, that's how it works as an acid. But the body converts it through chemical reactions to a more alkaline effect. Remember, the pH of the body is 7.4. Acid is anything less than 7. Neutral is 7.0. And so the rest of the body, after it's metabolized in the stomach, it's more alkaline. And so it helps the body achieve and maintain its proper pH of 7.4. And by doing so, it reduces inflammation, chronic illnesses, cancer, and it increases our energy. Because when our pH is balanced, the body doesn't have to work so hard. The adrenal glands don't have to work so hard. Our thyroid doesn't have to work so hard. And so our body runs better. All right. And so it's a great detox. It supports weight loss, according to the Journal of Diabetes, Diabetic Care. And, and a lot of my patients have said that as well. I've been drinking it a teaspoon two to three times a day in a big glass of water with lemon, honey, for years now. And it really does make you feel fully alive, regulates your bowels, gives you that good energy, and it protects your, your immune system. It stimulates your immune system. And it reduces sugar cravings. There's studies that show that people that routinely drink the apple cider vinegar, remember in a big glass of water, don't want to drink it like a shot of whiskey. It burns. You're going to say, how do I know? Well, I've tasted it like that. And I've tasted whiskey too. And this apple cider vinegar in a shot glass, it burns more than whiskey does because it is an acid. So dilute it in a big glass of water. Okay. And so you'll eat less calories. And so that's how you lose weight. And it improves our detox, the detoxification of our limbs, our liver, and our whole, our whole body, okay? And so good, powerful stuff, folks. Natural cleaner. Now, you could just use the regular apple cider vinegar or just the regular vinegar, the clear vinegar for cleaning too, but there's nothing wrong with using the, the raw and unfiltered apple cider vinegar. You can do that. 50% vinegar, 50% water in a spray bottle. And I use that a lot. And that's very, very potent to kill any bad microbes that might be 
in your kitchen or in your bathroom. And it's also good for sunburns. It soothes the sunburn. Put a cup of apple cider vinegar and lukewarm bath. And it is very soothing. It takes away some of that burning from that sunburn. You can also then follow up with a quarter cup of coconut oil and lavender and essential oil in, in that bath as well. And so that helps soothe that sunburn. And potassium. It is high in potassium, so it heals the poison ivy, reduces swelling and inflammation, acts as a poultice, okay? Or you can place a poultice or a cup in a, in a, a warm bath water. So if you have a small area of poison ivy, a poultice is you can just get a rag, a dish towel, and put some apple cider vinegar in warm water and put it on there And if it's a small area. But if it's a lot of area on your body, it's best to just put it in the bath water and use it that way. Repels fleas on your pets, 50, 50 butter and apple cider vinegar, put it in the tub, wash your pet with it, and it helps get rid of their fleas, all right? So powerful uses of the raw and unfiltered apple cider vinegar. It does lower blood pressure and triglycerides. You know, folks, it fights seasonal allergies too, breaks up mucus, and it's an anti-inflammatory. Remember, it's a detox. It cleanses the lymphatics. It helps sinus drainage. You know, you can even put some on a warm washcloth and inhale it, and it helps open up the sinus passages. But I tell you, it's powerful, stimulates drainage. And so a teaspoon to two teaspoons, work up to a tablespoon if you like. Big glass of water with lemon, some honey, and powerful, powerful. Stimulates our immune system, our lymphatic drainage, and it's powerful against allergens, especially when you combine it with raw honey. And so I have some fungus on my toenails. Maybe too much information out there for you, huh? And so I use it. I use the apple cider vinegar. I soak my feet in the apple cider vinegar in that 50-50 mix. And then afterwards, I, I used to have some boric acid and apple cider vinegar and a, as a paste to put on it. And it works. You know, it's going to take a long time, six months to a year, because it takes that long for the nail to grow if it was taken off. A, a nail can take sometimes a toenail up to a year to grow. So coconut oil, oil of oregano, also place on the fungus, very, very powerful. So good holistic treatment options that don't harm you, okay? And so let's go to the next slide. It's a good skin toner for eczema or acne. And it may be a little bit too strong to put this straight on with a cotton ball to some of those areas. You may want to dilute it because it is an acid and it may burn a little bit or irritate that area of the skin. So you may need to dilute it one-to-one -one with some water. And then afterwards, put on some coconut oil for continued healing. So good for eczema and acne. Varicose veins. It helps improve circulation. Well, how? cuts down inflammation. Then you combine it with some witch hazel with the apple cider vinegar and rub on the veins in that circular manner. I tell you, it reduces varicose veins. A non-surgical approach to help with varicose veins. So powerful stuff, folks. As we go on to our next slide, we're going to be talking about is as a natural deodorant. You can get a cotton ball and use it underneath the armpits. Why, why do we people have body odor? A lot of it is the bacteria is what smells. It's our foods that we eat and it comes through our skin and our pores, the bacteria. So the apple cider vinegar kills a lot of the bacteria, then the less body odor. It eliminates the bacteria and the yeast that causes the odor. Okay, you can do it with your fingers or a cotton ball. I typically do it with a cotton ball and I'll do it with it on my nose, the face, and some other areas that I will share I'll share with you that help lighten up some of our age spots. Okay, it's good as a cold for colds and sore throat. I do it every day, so I don't get colds and sore sore throats. I'm blessed that way, you know. And it's a good preventative strategy as well. But if you do get a cold or sore throat, teaspoon or two in a big glass of water, a little honey, and swish it around in your mouth. Swallow it, you know. Warm it up a little bit so you can dissolve the honey. And do that three, four, five times a day. There's no right or wrong. It's very powerful that way with vitamins, probiotic. It's a natural cure, and it also reduces the drainage and helps suppress cough. 
So it's a very powerful cough suppressant as well, okay? And so that's the raw and unfiltered apple cider vinegar. And what I, what I mentioned and I want to just highlight is I use this on a cotton ball. And as we get older, you get little brown spots, little age spots, and it lightens them up and takes them away because it's an it's, it's acetic acid. It's, a, it's, it's vinegar. And we use things to take off warts that have acetic acid in it. So it could work there too. You could get a cotton ball, put it on the wart, and tape it overnight, saturate the cotton ball, tape it, and just keep doing that, and that wart will, it will dissolve it. And some of the brown spots that I have on my forehead and other places, this works, okay? So the raw and unfiltered apple cider vinegar, transitioning now to the raw and unfiltered honey. The same principle, unpasteurized raw honey. It looks like that honey that comes from a honeycomb, opaque. It isn't that nice flowing, kind of yellow brown honey that's in the little bear, okay? That's pasteurized. It takes away the pollens and all the good nutritions, okay? So what is honey? It's an energy source made of 80% sugar, but it's good, healthy sugar. The rest is water and small percentage of the minerals, the pollens, and the protein. It's the perfect running fuel. A lot of marathon people, a lot of people that do endurance sports, that's their go-to energy when they're competing or before they compete or after they're done. It's a great uh, fuel and it's good for us to help us when we recover from our athletic events. Age one and up, folks, because clostridium, okay? We're not supposed to give it to, to children under the age of one. It's a powerful antioxidant. It blocks free radicals. So it's kind of like Pac-Man goes through our body and gets out all those free radicals and cuts down inflammation, boosts our immune system, reduces heart disease and cancer. It has multiple fighting antioxidants, like disease-fighting antioxidants, like penocebrin, ponostrobin, and chrysin. Okay? I don't even know what those are, but I know it, it's powerful and it, it cuts down those antioxidants. And it's essential in fighting inflammation and cancer in our body. Right? You know, how do we think we can improve on God's bottle of health care? He gave us the apple cider vinegar. He gave us the honey. Powerful for our health. Okay? It helps promote sleep. Restorative sleep. How does it do that? Well, when we eat honey at bedtime, it restores our liver, liver glycogen, our, our glucose stores. And so it prevents the brain from triggering a crisis to wake us up because we don't have enough sugar. And... By doing such, it fosters the release of tryptophan, which is converted to serotonin, that good, feel-good hormone, which then converts it to melatonin, which is that sleep hormone, okay? And so if we have poor sleep, that's linked to high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, arthritis, anxiety, depression, those chronic diseases. Raw honey, age one and up. Great for wound healing. It creates hydrogen peroxide, a natural antibacterial. We've used hydrogen peroxides on wounds before to help heal. You know, it fizzes when you put it on. Okay. You put the honey in the ghee together. Ghee is like a, a, a butter, special butter, and use it as a dressing for infected wounds. Heals burns and skin ulcers. It's very powerful. Good stuff. Reduces the risk of diabetes and lowers the needs for medications. See, raw honey and cinnamon together are beneficial for our blood sugars. Cinnamon counters the glucose elevation in honey by boosting the insulin. So we get more insulin taking that glucose into the cell. And so when I have my coffee, it's always with raw honey and about a teaspoon of cinnamon. And it, it's just both powerful anti-inflammatories. And it can help benefit against the infections in our mouth, the gingivitis, and act, acne. You can put the raw honey, the make a paste with some turmeric and even some cinnamon, make a, like a paste and put it on acne lesions. You know, it's a little sticky and stuff, but as you're going to bed, you can do that and wake up in the morning and it'll cut down a lot of that redness and the swelling and the inflammation, okay? And so it's wonderful to cough syrup, the most effective, than or more effective than the over-the-counter cough medications without the bad side effects of insomnia. Remember, this helps us sleep, uh, blood pressure issues, 
anxiety. Some of those cough medicines really wire people up and reduces the mucus secretions and cough as with little as one tablespoon of raw honey. Remember the raw and filtered honey. It does it, it has to be that the unpasteurized so it keeps all the good stuff in there. The bees are doing all the work when they pollinate. And when we eat the raw honey, it's like getting allergy shots. That's what allergy shots are, is the pollen, the small bits of pollen. And so we're consuming that pollen, local raw honey, the air we're breathing, the bees are pollinating those plants. And so that's how it reduces allergies, reduces mucus, and it's a beautiful medicine, natural medicine for our health and our wellness. So one to two teaspoons of raw honey at bedtime, and you'll sleep soundly and help with the drainage and keep those allergies at bay, okay? All right, and what else do we have? Anything else there? Sure, well, let's finish up with this slide. Expect raw and unfiltered, uh, raw and unfiltered honey to be opaque, like I said, like, like that coming from the honeycomb, because it hasn't been heated or filtered or denatured, because that would eliminate the good effects, that pollens, those, those nutrients, those minerals, that help us stay healthy, okay? Place it in warm coffee or tea so it maintains its integrity. The, the temperature that you would drink it out of. You don't want it hot, hot, right? You don't want it boiling. And so it won't be denatured if you drink it the, te the temperature that is normal for you to drink coffee. And then we place it on cereal. We could put it on toast, peanut butter and jelly, peanut butter and honey sandwich and jelly if you want. Put it in smoothies or in yogurt, or just a teaspoon. Like, remember, a spoonful of sugar, a spoonful of honey. You can't go wrong there, it's a better honey. And so, if you have questions, folks, go ahead and just email, or put them on the, uh, the bottom of the program, and we'll be get to you as soon as we can and answer your questions. And with that, we really thank you for your time tonight about the benefits, and it shouldn't be surprising, but for a lot of people, they are of raw and unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother, the cloudy looking stuff, looks like cobwebs in there, and the raw and unfiltered honey. So thank you folks for the privilege of your time. Now we're gonna take it back to our talented Chief Operations Officer, Kai, and she's gonna tell us what we're gonna talk about next, next week. Thank you for that, um, Dr. George. And well, yes, thank you again for um, joining us or watching this video that we have prepared for you. And actually for next week, so we will have the next topic will be the principles of a holistic health and healing practice. So Dr. George will share with us, you know, um, the practices that he does whenever he is in the clinic or um, yeah. is attending with his patients. So we hope that you'll stay tuned and wait for that video as well. And you now please do follow us in our social media platforms. We have Facebook, we also have an Instagram, and of course, Pinterest. So just look for Dr. George or at Dr. George. And for Pinterest, that's at Dr. George Saramuga. And also for daily inspirations, for devotions, free wellness handouts as well. You know, a lot of other resources and the videos that we had in the past, um, the recordings we had in the past. Um, please do visit drgeorge.com and we hope that you will enjoy the site that we have prepared for you. Okay, so... With that, um, we just want again, we want to say thank you for being with us and for watching this video. We hope that you can also share this to your friends and to your other loved ones. Thank you. And thank you all for the privilege of your time. May God bless you. Thank you, team, for another great evening of prep to be able to deliver these wellness tips to all. You know, remember the raw and unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother, the raw and unfiltered honey, and living fully alive, mind, body, spirit. So God bless you, folks. Indeed. Thank, thank you, everyone, for your time. We hope you learned a lot in this Wellness Wednesday pre-recorded live stream. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Good stuff. Thank you, everyone. Yes.